hi friends welcome to my channel and this is windows server 2012 step by step tutorial and this is the 17th video in this series and in this video i'm going to show you today uh, installation and configuration of remote desktop services for publishing the remote applications on a session host server so so uh, as we are already discussed in other videos we have a total three type of uh, uh, remote desktop uh, deployment method in windows over 2016 or 2012 so we are going to follow uh, this time this uh, last one, last step which is remote app so in this remote app what we are going to do basically a remote application will be going to install uh, on a multiple servers like you have a different three or four servers to load balance the application load for the user sessions so for example in this in this session we we are going to have a two two uh, session host servers on which application application are going to install and users are going to access those applications so let's say step by step uh, uh, demo for this lab so here is my environment which I have so the first machine is win 2k12 dc01 which is my active directory server active directory and dns server so if i go here you can see this is win 2 kt uh, win 2k12 dc01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com and you can see active directory and dns role is installed on this machine and the second machine i have is win 2k12 hyphen rds01 this is the the rds server where uh, we are going to basically install a connection broker and remote app on um, um, web, uh, web access role so let's see this is the server and winter 12 rds01 this machine is joined in my domain and this machine having 8 gig of ram and the next machine which i have I have two session host server like uh, Win2K12, SS01 and SS02. Both are running on Windows Server 2012 R2. Um, I have assigned 24 gig of RAM to these two machines. So this is SS01. This is also running on Windows Server 2012 R2. And you can see this machine is joining my domain and 24 gig of RAM. And I have installed MS Office program on this machine. So basically you can see Microsoft Office on this machine and to see it you can see here I have Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, so Excel, so 2016 Office is installed on this machine. If I go here I can show you. You can see the uh, MS Office 2016 Plus 2 is installed on this machine and this is my session host too let's verify the settings this machine also having 24 gig of ram and the join in my domain and let's verify the applications so you can see the uh, ms office is also installed on this machine so basically what we are going to achieve this uh, in this video so we are going to publish the remote app by publishing the remote app basically users can use these application which is installed on session host uh, 0 01 or 0 02 and we will see how, how it's going to set up so let's do a step by step so I'm going to click on my mm, on my RDS 01 server you can see I'm on RDS 01 so the first thing which I have to do I have to add uh, those two server session or server in my all server and a server manager so I'm going to add them so I'm going to type the name of the server so here you can see SS0102 so I'm going to add these servers so you can see both the servers is added so I have um, enabled started the performance counter so if you see like you have a um, uh, big load on your uh, session or server like a uh, 50 or thousand uh, hundred of users log into these servers and the performance is going to be slow for these machines so you can always start a performance counter so you can see which is uh, getting over util utilized like cpu or memory and you can figure it out so this is the uh, these are the three servers so now i'm going to click on my dashboard and manage 
and add role and features click next and you can see we have a role of feature based installation so I'm going to install a remote desktop services installations so click next then we have a two types of uh, deployment and a remote desktop services so the first one is a standard deployment and a standard deployment you can uh, you can basically install a remote desktop services across multiple server which we are going to do because I want to install a session host server role on these two servers and the connection broker and the RD web on these uh, RDS01 itself so click next and we are going to use a session based uh, desktop deployment because the users are going to log in uh, and going to get the session on these two session host servers so you can see session host uh, deployments allow users to connect the session collection that include a published remote app and a session based desktop so good to know that click next and these three roles are required a connection broker which handle the all the communication with the uh, remote server and a client and we have a web access which is going to allow enables user to uh, see the application which is published on a web browser and the last one is the remote session host where the user are going to log in and get the session for the remote application or the desktop so click next so the connection broker role I need to install on the RDS01 so click next and now we have a RD web access role so I'm going to install on my RDS01 so I'm going to tick mark this install the RD web access role on a server RD connection broker is so click next and we have a two session host servers so I'm going to install a session host role on these two servers where the application is installed so click next so now you can see these two following servers are going to restart because uh, session host uh, role is going to install so restart the destination server automatically if required and click on deploy so this installation is going to take a few minutes and after the installation complete both the servers is going to reboot the session host server where we are installing the session host role so let's wait for installation so now you can see it's installing the web access role so rd connection booker role is uh, installation is finished it will configure soon so let's wait for a few more seconds now you can see the installation is started for session host role on SH01 and 02 and you can see the both machine is getting restarted now I can go here and see uh, session host 01 and 02 is rebooting now so we have to wait when once the installation is completed we can see the status of the installation so let's wait both the servers to come up So now we can log in and see what's going on. So I'm going to log into these two servers. Yes, admin. I can see it's configuring the role. Connection broker succeeded and web access role configuration is also succeeded and the RDS connection uh, session host role is so basically we have done the installation and all the four roles is installed uh, across the three different servers so go and close this and you can see these servers having now a session host role the more desktop services so good to know and this server RDS01 having one more extra role which is IIS because it's having the web access role so if I click on remote desktop services you can see here the farm uh, all the farm details like um, what we have uh, RDS01 which is connection broker RDS01 having web access role 
and these two servers having the session host role so good to know that and now to publish the application or allow users to uh, connect to these farm and use the uh, remote desktop services we need to create a collection so I'm going to click click and create collection and give the name to collection like prod app and you can also type uh, the name which you logical name so I'm going to allow all prod app all users so means production app for all the users I'm going to type domain users so this is the uh, collection name which we are going to publish and click next and now you can see the which RDS session host you want to add so I'm going to add both my uh, RDS session host servers click next and to which uh, group or users you want to give access so you can basically select your group or users on which you want to provide access so for now I'm going to leave it default and I'm going to give all the domains users to give get the access for this collection so click next and I'm not going to enable a profile desk for these deployment so click next and confirmation we have a collection name and we have a do users and group and then no profile disk and the session host server which is creating so let's cl click on create so it's creating collection and add adding two servers so now you can see the collection is created and both the servers is added successfully so I'm going to click on refresh and you can see the type as a session host uh, session based and the size two two servers we have two session host servers and the resource type is remote desktop so good to know and now if I click on my application uh, collection which is prod app all domain users you can see we have what we have we if you want to modify the settings you can go and modify the name groups session and load balancing for example if you want to push uh, uh, which server have a uh, maximum limits of session or the weightage of the session you can configure from here and the client setting and the profile this so cancel this and basically I'm going to use a remote app program so I'm going to click here and publish remote programs so it's you can see it's retrieving the application so you can see um, here on uh, the pro uh, prod app all domain users collection and this uh, the application list list which we have received here it's coming from SS01 and S02 because these two servers are added to this group so what I'm going to do I'm going to select few applications here which I want to publish and we'll see how we can use this on remote so So I have selected these application to publish for the user users so click on publish so please wait we have to wait for a few seconds here find remote app program we have published so good to know that click on finish and now you can see the all the remote application here and if you want to modify any setting related to some application you can go here and always uh, rename the name and modify the settings and you can modify the permanent uh, parameters user assignment and the file type association you can remove so and now we we are done with this and now it's time to test the deployment so I'm going on my I having two client machine here on my infrastructure so both the machine is joined in my domain this is CL01 and I have one more machine here called CN02 so both the Windows 7 client machine and how I can access the remote app on these machines so we can use through the web uh, web page so I'm going to open a web page on both the machines and 
if you don't know the path of the web uh, web application you can go and see the path from the collections on RDS and edit deployment here you have a RD access web access so I can go you can go here and copy the path uh, um, by default this, uh, the path is basically uh, your server name uh, your RD web server name and uh, slash RD web so I'm going to access this on my both the client machines let's wait to open it click continue to this website and put the username so I have two accounts in my domain called user 01 and 02 which I'm going to test here so if I click login you can see I have all the application which is published there and I can launch any application so I'm going to launch the uh, calculator on my this machine so I'm going to type my username again and password and from second machine I also I'm going to launch few application and see if it's working or not to type my domain name slash user 02 and the password for user 02 and click on sign in you can see the application published here click on paint I'm going to launch the paint and test is it working fine or not so first time it's going to take some time because you are going this uh, login is going to create one uh, profile so now you can see on CL01 we uh, the calculator is open and you can see here a small icon which is showing that this machine is running on a connection broker and you actually can't see the application where this application is running from a client machine because it's giving the name of the RD connection broker to identify where it's running let's open one more application on this machine called word word pad and see so now we have uh, two application running on uh, uh, for user 01 on a, a connection broker platform so if I go here on my remote desktop server and publish application and refresh this you can see I have a user 1 session it's coming on session host 01 so from here you can see the see the thing what, what what is going on here and what the uh, services are running and if I go on my SSH01 you can see the user session is coming and you can always expand the session and see what the application is getting used by user 0 and same way you can see here on a user 02 I'm going to log in and check this machine is also working fine so I'm going to launch free application here like paint I launched two paint and one uh, calculator and going to launch one word pad here so all the application which is running here the, you can see it's running on a uh, for the user 0 2 on a session host 2 from here you can see the user 2 session the session is uh, coming on users session 2 so and you can always go and browse the thing so you can see here two paints is open one word pad and one calculator for user 02 so basically this is all how you can set up a remote applications on a RDS Microsoft RDS platform for a remote desktop services so Thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.